Lemieux trying to get the motor going. Lemieux in a goal shot. Hey! Shoots and scores! Mario Lemieux beats Casey like a red and mule again. And the Penguins lead 3 to 1. Oh, you have to be here to believe it. What a burst of speed by Mario Lemieux. The point, Deshaun Dan. Mario blocked it. Lemieux heading up ice. Here he comes. Here he comes. Let's go! Super Mario finally on the team! Took a while, a lot longer than I thought it would be. So many players just to get this down. So many different menus, so many different screens just to get this across. I feel like NHL has to make a way to improve making all these players because you gotta make four per icon on this screen here. So there's eight, so eight times four, 32. It just took a lot longer than it should be. You should make it a lot easier to get this done. Well, anyways, so we finally got Mario Lemieux here. Finally, gonna try him out. It wasn't really much of a debate for me. It was either gonna be Mario Lemieux or Gordie Howe. I don't even care about Gretzky that much at the moment. I know it's tough to say that, but it is NHL, it is a video game. And right now, I don't care for a small center. I like height, so Super Mario on the team, let's go. So now that I have him, I'm gonna show you the lineup I have going into the first HUD champs of the week. So let's go. So I wanted to show the team before I jump into the HUD champs. First ever HUD champs I'm going to be playing. So let's see how that goes. So I think I have a solid enough team to do well, but I suck. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, anyway, so Lemieux down the middle, got him to 90. Same thing with Kuznetsov and Curry. A maximal to 86 is both. So this should be a solid first line with speed and size. So second line here, got Joe Sakic all the way to 86 as well. I just did Robotai just to complete this line. And I got Nathan McKinnon here just for some speed to help out these guys. I know Robotai looks like he's faster skating, but I feel like he'll be a little bit sluggish with the height. So McKinnon will balance that out. Then on the third line, I put Nguyen Dyke here just so he can be my shutdown center. He'll be my penalty killer, my main faceoff guy. And then I put two scoring wingers on the side there. So I got Austin Matthews and I got Jack Eichel. I'm going to see if Austin Matthews' speed can keep up with these guys. Should be okay. I'll see for myself, I guess. And then on the fourth line, just trying to get in some defensively sound players that are also good. So I didn't want to have complete crap here on the fourth line. So I got Point and Dreisaitl and then Crosby down the middle. Again, should be good enough here as a team. I know as a team, I'm probably one of the top teams going into the first HUD champs. I know for sure, but the person behind the team is not the greatest. So let's see how, let's see how it goes. Going on to the defense here. So I got Breeze Ball and Low. I completed both of them just to have that pairing. So I think they're both going to be feeding off each other here. Both two ADs, both sound defensively and good offensively. Uh, second line here is going to be the Makar and Lidstrom pairing. So again, a nice balance here we got. And then on the third pairing, a defensive monster and then an offensive monster. And I know Carlson's not that good defensively and I know or pick technically in real life was not good offensively, but his card is actually pretty decent. So should be a perfect third pairing. And then in goal, of course, I'm going to be trying Markstrom. I haven't tried him yet, but I will be trying him. See how that goes. So for the team, I factored a lot was the synergy. So the synergies, I had to activate as much as I could. So I could only activate right now as a sniper forward, playmaking forward, and the two-way defenseman synergies. On defense, it's a little bit harder because I have... An offensive D. I guess I have two offensive Ds and I have a defensive D. Could have put another offensive D on, but it would just mess up with the mechanics of the team as I didn't want to have my bottom pairing being two offensive Ds. So I had to leave Warpick in there. And then same thing with uh, the forwards. I had Nuendijk as my only two-way forward. Everybody else is either a playmaker or a sniper. So I left it alone. I got the coach in there, which gave me the extra one that I needed for the sniper. So balanced out the team. I got those synergies activated for now. Too hard at the moment to get any of these guys activated. I know they're going to be good as well on top, but it's too hard. Eight points is too hard, I guess. Yeah, eight points here. Accelerator speed, of course you want these ones, but eight points. And when you look at the list of players that have this, it's not the greatest players. You might have three or four top tier players, but then you're going to have plugs having the speed and accelerator. So for now gonna hold off so yeah i just wanted to show you a quick summary of the team before my first hot champs so i'll catch you guys on the next one